some side lights to this door and make the transom fit the whole door. In a situation where I need side lights, I mean, there are some windows and there are some doors in the library that have side lights on them already. I think they're under the Gen Weld, under the manufacturer library. This is how I always create my windows and doors with side lights. I use multiple units. Now let's say that I wanted to specify a, a mall width here. I want to have a wider mall. And this is true for windows too. Start by double clicking on the window icon. And there's a thing here called minimum separation. By default, Chief is going to separate the sash or the windows two inches. So you're going to have a two inch mall. Let's change that to 6 and click OK. So now when I put some windows in my plan and I push them together, it's going to leave a wider mall. It's going to leave a 6 inch mall. That's your automatic setting. If I push that against the door, it's going to leave a wider mall. It's not letting me push it right up against the door. So if I take and I pull this window down to the floor, make it narrower just by pulling the side over. Okay, So I can open the dialog and I can make that side light any size I want. So I want to make it 14 inches. I want to make it fixed glass. If I needed to I could change the size of the frame under the sash and frame. Okay, Remember everything in chief is a box. There is a box going around the glass and this is how you control the size of that box. The frame is a box. Here's how you control the size of the frame of a window. Click OK. And just push it back against there. And right now it looks like it's mulling together nicely. Click over here. Copy. Paste. Push it against the door. There's your mulled unit. It's not really mulled together. It's still three separate items. But at this point, I could take this and I could group select the three objects, hit the mull together, and now it's one object. Now I need a side light. It's the same. Okay, right now my unit's 76 inches. I'll change this to 76 inches. And then I will also, you know, let, let's say you did that and it wasn't lined up. Same thing again. Just place that window next to it, push it against it, push it against it, it'll, it'll, it'll stop, pull that up, and then push this back over. So use another window, you can use a wall, you could push the door against a wall. Okay, so again, now I can mull these together. Now I've got one big unit. Go change your spacing back to two or whatever you're going to use so the windows you put in from that point forward will be that. Now another way that I I will mull windows together that are certain spacings you know if you don't you don't have to use that setting under the default window defaults you don't have to use minimum separation. I can just place some windows in my plan when I click on the windows okay Notice right now the dimensions are going center to center. Well, again, if I go back into my dimensions and I, I double click on the ruler icon, I'm going to say, well, dimension my openings to sides for now. Click OK. Now when I click on them, I can actually click on a unit and I'll have a number right here. I can click on that number and I can type in what I want that space to be. You can also auto dimension your plan and do it that way. So you can set exact spacing if you want to. It's very simple. Again for my floor plan I could select those and I could mull them together from this view also. I don't know why but sometimes it, it when you mull them together on the floor plan it makes that mull look like the wall. I, I don't know why it's doing that. Haven't been able to figure that one out. So in a simplest sense it's very very easy to add mold and stacked units.